Hello and welcome to Living Simply and Fun. I'm Aaron and this is Aries. Um, well, since I got this here, this is what we have for dinner. Uh, the box was $1.88. Can't complain about that, can we? Hamburger was free at the food bank. Can't complain. Let me tell you, this is better than that hamburger helper, a cheeseburger mac, or double mac. So as you can see, our meal today cost us 90 cents a piece. We didn't eat lunch, so that was it, and that was I, enough for two of us. So. I didn't eat lunch because I was busy sleeping until I woke up early well, for various reasons. Technicality, 94 cents a piece for dinner. Well, you can't beat that at McDonald's, can you? Um, I was trying to give some thought to tomorrow's dinner. Um, I'm thinking about doing the thinking about doing the other two steaks that we have left over and doing a barbecue. Uh, we got those for Rita's mom's birthday, and she had to buy a four-pack to get the two she wanted, so, uh, might as well use those, and, anybody, uh, anybody, ugh, thanks, uh, anybody who thinks that, you know, people who are disabled a portion need steak, do think about this, if the steak is five dollars, and you get two steaks at ten dollars for two people, what's it gonna cost you to eat at McDonald's? Nobody ever throws a fit about poor disabled people eating McDonald's crap, but they do when they find out that a person's eating steak, even though the steak might cost half as much as they would have spent at McDonald's. So, yeah, unless you buy only out the dollar meal, but most people buy meals with a drink and with fries and, you know. That's what they do with Subway, too. Even the, the poor and disabled will go and buy themselves a Big Mac or a Whopper or... Uh, a quarter pounder or whatever and well then you're talking six seven dollars more than the cost of a steak so um, it's just I prefer Burger King myself just yeah. so you know so that brings me to the topic for today I was thinking about understanding uh, for instance there's understanding and what people eat and why they buy what they buy uh, as I just mentioned you know you can get a steak for as low as $1.98 a pound uh, if you're getting really cheap steak, um, you can get steak as much as, well, if it's prime cut, uh, USDA, <laughs> prime cut USDA porterhouse, you might be paying $90 for one steak. So depending, it depends on online. what you're getting, you know, uh, you're not going to find a prime choice USDA steak in your grocery store. Uh, we learned about this when we were learning about prime, uh, prime rib. Uh, what most people get is just a rib roast. It, it's not prime rib because it's not prime choice. Uh, and that's reserved as a labeling for very specific meat that's perfectly cut. So, sometimes you got to understand what is it that the person's buying. Don't just diss it because you hear, oh, they're eating steak. Heck, we, we eat shrimp sometimes, but, you know, we've gotten shrimp that is downright... The, crappiest shrimp I've ever had. It's just little pieces and stuff. It was like four bucks for a pound and a half. It was like, hey, shrimp, four bucks, pound and a half. It was horrible. Uh, and we used that in gumbo, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'd actually avoid using it again even at that price. Um, well, for example, people think of me uh, on Facebook uh, being a, a rich slub, and then they complain to me, you know, when I do eat steak, or the other day we had shrimp, like he yeah. said. But this, this, I have to tell you, I grabbed the last, I made this guy, this one guy, really pissed off at me at the grocery store because it was, and this is living simply fun, yes. it was fun. I grabbed the last two bags of shrimp at $6 a piece for a two pound bag of shrimp. Five ninety eight. was in, uh, five ninety eight. yeah, and the guy did not like it, yeah. And, well, uh, I can understand why he wouldn't like it. He wanted it himself, but... Yeah, well, I and we have one package of those in butter, uh, melted, with did our Did that steak. on the barbecue, and then another time I did them just, uh... How did I do the other package? The other package is frozen stuff. Oh, yeah, so we still have the other package frozen. That's So right. if we're doing that's steak tomorrow, we can add that as a side tomorrow. Yes, we could. See, that's living simply and fun. Yeah, so our, our dinner tomorrow, even though I'm thinking steak, might end up being $6 a person, but it's still a fairly cheap meal compared to what you get. I mean, you go to, if you went to Subway, you'd end up paying, uh, getting a $5 foot long, drink and by the time you get a drink of chips, it's 7 something. 
And by the time the tax is included, it's 734. A over yeah. However, this little guy does not like going to the park because he doesn't get any steak. <laughs> so, uh, also with understanding, I wanted to bring up something too. There's a situation with one of my neighbors. They're always breaking the lease, whether it be smoking in their apartment, which these are non smoking apartments. Whether it be that he's got two dogs instead of one, or they run around the, on the property without a leash, the police won't do anything because it's private property, the management company should, but they don't. Uh, they let him make modifications to his apartment. But, you know, again, it comes down to a matter of understanding. Uh, I understand that he's got a problem with his knee and his back and his arm. Uh, he has a hard time bending over and the dogs escape on him sometimes. Yeah, he's got them for medical reasons, supposedly, but, uh, he should still be able to take care of them. So, uh, instead of getting mad at him because his dogs attacked our dog yesterday, uh, we decided that we try to handle things in the nicest manner possible before something bad does happen and the wrong person decides to make a problem for him. So... Sometimes you have to try to understand where people are coming from or what's gone on in their life. And, you know, just standing in their shoes isn't really enough because we hear that saying all the time. And I think most of us are just dead to the saying. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, uh, walk, walk a mile in your shoes. You know? my, walk a mile in my shoes is the rule. Yeah, I know. And, it, and most people sit there and they're just like, well, you know what, I don't care. <laughs> a lot of, uh, I've heard a lot of people understanding that. And I'm going to say this in a nice term, uh, because this is the topic for understanding is, for example, genetic women and transgendered women that look very good after their surgeries, and they want to live, uh, they want to, you know, they say, oh, well, I'd rather live in your life because you have money and you have this and you have that. Well... How do you know they're not miserable with all that money, for example, or well, in their life, you know? Yeah, or for instance, understanding of a medical condition, instead of making fun of a person for their medical condition, it should be better to just try to have a little understanding and say, you know what, it's out of your control. You didn't have any say over it. It happened. It's how you are. Well, it's like... Uh, um, it's wrong to make fun of something for something that they cannot control or ha help, you know? It's like, uh, for example, I'll bring up another thing for understanding is uh, uh, people should be more open-minded and understanding to the gay, lesbian, bi's, and transgender community, but instead they believe in the Bible and everything else, so then everything goes down the crapper. Or the disabled, retirees, veterans, there's a uh, essentially a major flame war going on between all sorts of people over uh, who should get what, and uh, they think so many people are just taking handouts. I'm sorry, I, I have a seizure disorder, and I black out, and I have other problems, and I can't be around people very well. I, I can be around Rita, I can talk to a camera, but if I was and talking... And he can talk to the dog. I, I love talking to the dog. He answers me sometimes, too. <laughs> um, usually he has In biscuits, to... in the formation of biscuits, Daddy. No, actually, he's a rather intelligent intellectual who uh, likes to talk about philosophy, but... <laughs> Um, humor also is free and it's something good every day but um, yeah when it comes down to my mental problems I really can't be around other people very often because I'll black out I'll have a situation I, I someone yells at him it. he blacks out and he wakes up with wounds on his so arms, like so. I can really work for somebody that's you know? why this and, little guy's but around. people look at me on. and they hear me talk and they think well what's wrong with you you can work but people well, also I'm, I'm sorry what you're seeing here is me being comfortable but 90 percent of the time in front of others I am so uncomfortable what? that I can't function. Let, let's so. put it to you this way for understanding. I mean, I can one. go to the grocery store, walk around, do my shopping, but if a store employee came up to me and started yelling at me, what are you doing, blah, 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 uh, I might just fall down in the middle of the store, put my hands over my ears, and start crying. Break and, yeah, exactly. Uh, how can I work like that? Anyways, what I wanted to say with understanding also is, and... Uh, me being transgendered, you know, people need to have understanding, but they don't. They just want to say freak and everything else. Whereas him, 
he gets a lot of flack and no people want to understand him when it comes to uh well, people Moppy. Assume, yeah. This here, he's a service dog. Well, also people assume I'm gay all the time. Why? Because my best friend's transgender. And so therefore I, I'm with her all the time. I kind of her like her caretaker. I I do everything with her because well, she needs somebody in her life and I need somebody in mine. We all need somebody, you know, and nobody wants to know me, really, and nobody really wants to know her. We've pretty um, much been outcasts and disowned by our family, so... Exactly. So, we really have nobody else, and I'm not gay, but and she's not either. <laughs> no, I'm uh, more lesbian, but if I had to go back to being a male, it would be straight. Exactly. Otherwise, it's lesbian, so... So, frankly, we're both straight, but... If you go based off of birth gender. So, anyways, that may not have been something fun, but uh, it is something important in how to live life. And you know what? When you start having understanding for other people and you don't get angry because, oh, this person's walking too slow in front of my car. How do you know they didn't break their hip last year and they're still recuperating? That reminds huh? me of the joke with my well, friend. We watching. don't have time for jokes right now. We, we look at the time. Well, it doesn't really uh, matter how long it is. But, you know, she wanted to be impatient and run people over is what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Or uh, how do you know they don't have something stuck in their foot? Or, you know, th there's all sorts of problems that a person can be going through that may makes them walk slow and when you start to have some understanding for other people it actually leads to you instead of getting angry and being like <laughs> you start to sit there and say eh, oh well day will go by soon enough i'll get to where i need to get to go and this person well you know you know i i think that sometimes understanding needs to be done by people who drive when somebody's crossing the street and it's raining or it's freezing cold out Remember that in your car, you have a heater, uh, as long as your heater works. And, well, you're warm when somebody outside is walking and freezing. Or you're covered from the rain when somebody is getting drenched. Or uh, you're, you're in air conditioning when somebody is getting 99 degree heat blasting down on their face and they're getting a sunburn and sunstroke. Okay? there's always a reason to think and maybe sometimes we need to understand others just a little bit better than we try to now anyways that's all i have to say to today uh aries you got anything to add uh nope the understanding thing has basically been given and uh, about dinner it was really good i hope to get four boxes next month of it but and moppy's unhappy again he didn't get a uh Scrub. This is our mascot for a living simple. I, I will dream. say though, though, that with a little understanding, life will be happier. So, and that'll lead to more fun. <laughs> exactly. That's how I see it. If you get understanding and you take your time and you take your slow time, and you just take it one by one day at a time or baby steps, your life will be a lot happier and you will be happier and. You won't be so depressed or moody. And we should really try to not do these videos so late at night. That's why I'm yawning. <laughs> please add and subscribe if you like. Please post comments in the box if you like. And please add us as a friend if you like. Thank you and goodbye.